Hi everyone, and today I'm going to do my November favourites. Yeah, so I haven't done one of these in ages. I haven't really filmed many videos, but yeah, so I'm going to start getting into it. And these are the products I've just been liking throughout the month of November. So, what should I start with? Hair. So I found um, and loved, well I loved all of these, don't I? Um, the Extravagant Oil by L'Oreal Shampoo and Conditioner. This, or this, whatever. And these I've got two brand new ones because I've used them all already because they're lovely. They're really good and um, it gives it's really like nourishing to your hair. So my hair feels really like nourished um, and but it still gives you a bit of volume. And um, sometimes you can find products um that are really nourishing, can sort of weigh your hair down and give you no volume. Where I find these still give me a bit of like volume um, but still makes my hair feel really nourished and really luxurious feeling. Um so yeah, and they're like oh they're all like three pound each um for this size. I think it's amazing. Um and I've used so many I I never normally buy rebuy the shampoo the same shampoo straight after I bought it, but I have rebought these, so that's for me saying something because I never do. I normally stand in the supermarket or the shop being like, what one should I get? But I've rebought these, so yeah. Then I've been loving the uh, Garnier Ultimate Blends, the Sleek Perfecting Oil for your hair, for dry, frizzy hair. So what I do is, once I've washed my hair about to dry, I put take some of this and put it through the ends, and then put a little bit like through the rest of my hair, um, just sort of like a pump, um, and then I dry my hair, and my hair feels so much more lux luxurious, uh, less frizz, and then when I've like styled my hair, um, I normally just put a tiny bit through to make sure it's all in make sure my frizzy bits but yeah I really like that um I've had it for a while and I haven't used that much but I do use it sort of every time I wash my hair and if I need it need it as well so yeah I use that and um, last hair product is um the collab by another youtuber not that I'm really a youtuber am I I'm just someone who makes videos um yeah but yeah, um, the collab by Ruth Quigley, and I did obviously buy this because I do watch her videos. Um, but yeah, I like it. Um, I normally use the Batiz, um one for dark hair, but then I find that I will take it all out, and then I have like black marks sometimes on my face. That's obviously not attractive. Um, this is obviously invisible. It does a job. I've used nearly all. I think I've used all of it. Um, but yeah, I like that. Um, it has a nice scent to it, and it doesn't leave any sort of residue like look dry shampoo in your hair so I like that um talk body shall we and then in, uh, number seven boots intense body butter I just bought this on a whim really because I had one of those five pound out vouchers and I've used it all because <gasps> it's, it's it's not an amazing smell to be honest it's alright smell but I use it like if I had a bath at night um, and I want something really like rich on my skin I'll pop this on and it will it does sort of is really rich and um, it says it's called intense body butter moisturize for 48 hours it's really rich i wouldn't wouldn't really want to get dressed after this because it is quite rich but after you know you're getting into bed anyway and you want to, you want to have something really to moisturize your skin at night this is really nice i only use this sort of after the bath and um, like i said blah 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 um cleanser that is yeah, the number seven cleansing oil really like this um, to cleanse my skin, just takes my makeup off, really nice, um, doesn't leave residue, I was a bit like, mm, will it really leave a residue on my skin, but it doesn't, it doesn't leave a residue at all, I, will, I do a double cleanse with this, I do one cleanse, take my makeup off, and then I use this little device to do my second cleanse, so you can see that I think I already used it a lot long ago, but it goes, so this is the Luna Freya, Freya, oh, Luna, something, yeah. Um, and what you do is you cleanse your skin, you turn it on, and then you go zoom, zoom, till it tells you to turn it off. And then you do the other side, and then you do it here, and then you turn it down, and then you do it across your eye, and um, type of cleanse. Um, but it's not like a one that's like a big toothbrush because I've got quite dry skin, so I wanted something to give me deep cleanse, but not actually to like. Sometimes they make my skin more drier. And I read really good things about this. Um, so I went ahead and gave it a go. I got the mini because it 
was like cheaper um, and it's quite sweet and it just sort of like fits in the contours of your face and you turn it, I turn it around and do my nose and it just sort of fits in the contours it's quite nice and then it's meant to last for ages I've only had it I will admit I've only had it three weeks this month um, but I will do a review on it um, one, a little, once I've used it a little bit longer um, tell you how much I love it because I do love it at the moment it is so cute um, should we talk about makeup? So, foundation. I've been using the Lift Illuminate foundation to be honest. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm scared out of my wits. So, you know, I have a light that's just here. Um, obviously on the ceiling, not just here. Um, and it has like those lights that, so it's got the light bulbs and it's got like those glass bits that go around it. And it's just flung off. It hasn't fallen off, but if it has like two little clippy bits that that light bit stays in, and it's just clipped off. That's what that noise was. That's what scared me. But yeah. Anyway, and um, this is meant to give you like firmer, even skin. I like it because it's quite dewy foundation. I am wearing it today, um, but it's sort of a nice coverage and lasts all day. Um, yeah, that's what I've been using. Um, I do still use my Chanel. I use everything, but this is what I've been using quite a lot of the month. Um, and it's different for me as well. As you can see, I've used quite a lot of it. So that is that. And then what I set that with. So I have set it today, but you can't see that. I like this powder because it's not too heavy. Um, and I just sort of set my T-zone. I leave my cheeks shiny, like, shiny as possible. I just sort of set here, here, here um, with my powder. Um, and I'm sorry, I haven't told you this Chanel powder. I've had it for ages. It's a loose powder. And I have it in 13 Natural Translucent too. And then what I use that with, I just set that with the Real Techniques setting brush. And I just do it. So I had to cut it, stop for a minute, and now I'm starting again. Um, so we've done the foundation, we've done the powder. Did I? What else have I got in my life? The mascara by Seventeen, um, false IHD. They have a really nice picture on the box with it on, and it makes that the girls actually look amazing. Obviously, they're trying to be the same as um, Benefit. They're real. Um, that's why they got the picture like the Benefit. They're real. Um, but it is really nice. Um, I don't know if you can see my lashes at all, but they are looking rather long. Um, but yeah, it's like six pound fifty. Um, so it's amazing, um, yeah, really, really like this mascara, um, and you can lay it with other ones to make your lashes more fuller, but this just gives it, why am I doing this? Don't want to see it, do you? I'm sure my face went right up in the camera. Um, what else am I going to talk about? Oh, my lip combo, that, because my eyes are, well, they're not that heavy, but they're not that light, are they? Um, and... I like to wear a bit of eyeshadow, so I like something on the lips that's not too stand out. And my lip combination, my favourite one, and it's been like this for years, um, but I just keep wearing it, is the number 7 Stay Perfect Lip Lacquer in Coral Dream. It's this, so I use this side. This is what I like, this. I pop this on my lips, let it set, then it doesn't come off, um, and then I put the Extreme um, Sexy Mother Pucker in the pink one, I don't know what it's called, over the top. Um, and I'll show you what that does. So that is just the sexy mother pucker on its own. This is. Well, I've nearly finished it. How bad is this? Let me get another one. It is that's the um, coral dream, um, and then I lay them together, and they come out like this. Yeah, but I really like it. Stays on all day just stays on um, and then for lip balm I've just been using the Burt's Bees um, the pink one just to moisturise my lips as it's obviously getting to the colder seasons um, yeah I think that's really everything I think I'm a bit misconstrued because I stopped halfway through because I had something to do um, and now I'm a bit like I don't know what I'm doing so yes my hair's doing right there um, yeah, but yeah, um, yeah. anyway, um, I don't think anyone's still watching, but you know, I'll see you soon, bye.